This is Twit. AMD previewed a 32 core Threadripper CPU for Q3. Um, will this be subject to some of the limitations of the current? I assume it will be subject to some of the, the limitations of the current Threadripper architecture. Um, um, meaning what? Are you, what? What limitations are you referring to? I seem to remember benchmarking issues with some of the applications because of the way it handled oh. the. Yeah, I mean, none of that's really going to change. Okay. Um, this is this is basically what they're going to do here for their Zen Plus, you know, Threadripper 2000 series. They're going to go up to 32 core, 64 threads, which basically means, if you remember, the Threadripper has four die on it, two of which were dead or dummies, and only two enabled, two eight core Zeppelin dies from AMD. Now they're basically going to put good dies on all four of them. And, you know, they're going to offer a 24 core as well. So there'll be a configuration where three of the dies are working, I assume. Um, and yeah, like this, any any kind of like software eccentricities will still exist, probably, unless AMD is doing a lot of work with Microsoft to adjust things in schedulers. Unless, you know, one of the interesting things is Zen Plus that we saw in the Ryzen 2000 series does mm -hmm. purport to have some fairly significant, and we measured some of this as well, decreases in in like core to core latencies, memory latencies, cache latencies, these things that were part of that problem that you were referring to. And mm -hmm. those fixes and advantages may actually may end up being more useful on these super high core count parts than on the eight core count parts or the six core count parts where, you know, Microsoft could theoretically schedule these threads across any die at any point and all that, right? And so anytime you can reduce those latencies, that's going to be, it's going to be mm -hmm. an improvement. Um, the other thing I took away from this is AMD did their press conference the day after Intel did, and they didn't release benchmark scores. They didn't do anything like that. They kind of, they showed it in comparison to an Intel 18 core part, talked about their advantages there, but they did mention very specifically like, hey, we're running this on air-cooled configuration. We don't need uh, uh, complex phase change or water <laughs> chillers to make this demo work, right? And it was a very clear right. reference to what had happened the day before. And that's what they, you know, that's what they should have done. That's That makes the most sense. Um, Q3, so you're thinking July, August timeframe, likely for something for this to come out. And, or Intel's demo was by the end of 2018. And now you don't really know what it's going to look like because of the complication around that five gigahertz demo. The, the AMD one was more of a, here's what you're going to get. We're, we're, we're doubling core count again. You're going to be able to get it, you know, this year. I don't know what to think about the pricing at this point um, because the 16 core part still sells for, uh, I think like 900 bucks or 750 bucks or like that, right? Uh, no, I'm sorry, 959, right? So the Threadripper 1950X, the 16 core part is just under a thousand dollars. So unless we start to see some price, now that we know 32 core is coming, if you're a crazy person that wants all these cores and threads, you're probably like, mm, I'm going to wait, right? I'm not going to buy the 16 core Threadripper or even an 18 core Intel X series part. I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. And is this going to be a $2,000 part? Is AMD going upwards? I think it's. It would be. it would be almost impossible to think that they would be able to sell there's 32 core part for a thousand bucks, right? That, that they would somehow match that maximum price point. I would love it. I don't know if they'll they'll have the guts to do it though. So, well, I think we'll find out sooner than than maybe most might have predicted.